Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to talk about the common use cases for using Groovy Scripting in SAP CPI. So Groovy Scripting is one of the key elements in SAP CPI that enables powerful, flexible and dynamic integration logic. So let's explore the top use cases where you will be using Groovy Scripting in SAP CPI. First, header and property manipulation. So by using Groovy Scripting, you can dynamically set or modify message headers and properties. This feature is useful for authentication tokens, routing or setting technical context. So this is one of the primary use cases where we will use Groovy Scripting. The second one, content transformation. Groovy Scripting helps you to handle custom transformation, whether you're converting XML to JSON or JSON to XML or passing flat files like CSVs or modifying nested data structures. So we can use Groovy Scripting for content transformation. Third, for implementing conditional logic. For example, if you have a complex conditional logic where you cannot achieve that with if and else, so you can use Groovy Scripting to build conditional logic to route data or change the iFlow behavior based on a specific value in the incoming payload. The fourth one is payload enrichment and cleanup. We can use Groovy Scripting to enrich the payload content, for example, adding timestamps or filter unwanted data or inject business context. So by using Groovy Scripting, you can programmatically uh, enrich the payload and do some cleanup of the payload. Fifth, custom logging and tracing. For example, if you want to uh, improve your observability or if you want to improve the logging of specific fields, so you can use Groovy Scripting to log specific fields, headers, or even enter payload or snapshots of the payload for debugging and monitoring. Sixth, data mapping and lookups. So if you want to replace static values with the dynamic logic, you can use Groovy Scripting. For example, if you want to translate currency codes or product IDs, or if you want to use a custom if else structure, for example, if you want to look up a target server by using APIs, you can use Groovy Scripting. Seventh, error handling. So this is one of the main use cases where we can use Groovy Scripting to handle exceptions gracefully by using try-catch blocks. So you can capture error messages and route to alternate to error handling iFlows. Eighth, attachment handling. We can handle attachments dynamically by using Groovy Scripting where you can read or create multi-part messages, especially when handling PDFs or images or multi-part uh, API structures. Ninth, security. Hashing or signature generation. You can use Groovy Scripting to generate HMAX or uh, hash signatures to secure API calls, uh, which is crucial for modern REST-based integrations. So you can do all the creative stuff in uh, uh, security area by using Groovy Scripting. And finally, date and time handling. For example, we can convert uh, dates into different formats and time zones, uh, which is required by the target systems, right? So you can use Groovy Scripting, formatting timestamps for calculating durations or converting into different time zones. Remember, these are just essentials. So Groovy Scripting can be your best friend when standard SAP capabilities don't support the requirement that you have. You can use uh, Groovy Scripting carefully and cautiously to build your custom logic. So that's it about this video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, consider giving a like, share the video and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching.